Hi everybody, and Merry Christmas. Um, this is Larry with Living Like Larry, and today I'm going to make my fudge. Very easy to make, people seem to love it, so I'm going to teach you how to do that. First, it's time to get in the holiday spirit. So, got my old Santa hat on to make the Christmas fudge, and here we go, I'll take you to the kitchen. So if you like my videos, give them a big thumbs up. And if you like them a whole bunch, subscribe, ring the bell, and get notifications of when my next videos come up. So here we go, let's go make some Christmas fudge. Okay, now what do we need to make this fudge? Instead, what I like to use is just a disposable aluminum pan. There's a nine by 13 inch, I believe. You want to use a stainless steel, saucepan to make this in good thing and a wooden spoon and a candy thermometer so the ingredients are as follows yeah three cups of sugar one 12 ounce package of semi-sweet chocolate chips six ounces of unsalted butter one seven ounce jar of marshmallow cream and two thirds of cups evaporated milk. Now when starting this, you want to put the butter, the sugar, and the evaporated milk all in the pan together. Combine that and we're going to cook it. We're going to bring it to a boil over medium heat and then for four or five minutes, you're going to continue stirring it. You have to continue stirring it. And it should reach a temperature of 234 degrees. But we'll get to that here in a few minutes. But these are your ingredients. So here we go. We'll get this fudge started. I did forget one ingredient. Well, one teaspoon of vanilla. And a couple walnuts if you want to add walnuts to your fudge. I do one half of it. Some people like walnuts. Some people do. I do. So first thing we'll do is we need to get to medium heat and we're going to add the sugar again three cups of sugar right there and we're going to add six ounces of butter And I'm using unsalted. You can use regular stick margin if that's what you would prefer. There's the butter. And now, two-thirds cup of evaporated milk. So now as this is cooking on medium heat, you want to constantly stir it. Otherwise, it'll burn to your pan. And you can look in there. <laughs> That's how it starts. Doesn't look too good yet, but it will. We're gonna bring this to a rolling boil. And again, if you don't have a candy thermometer, once you bring it to a rolling boil, cook it for four minutes constantly stirring. Very, very important to keep stirring this. Okay, everything's melted in here now. All the butter's melted.
still waiting on the boil. And as I said, you do want to use a stainless steel pan for this because the sugar is grainy when you're using it. It will harm and hurt your um, non-stick surfaces. And it does seem to take a while, but if you turn the heat up, you don't want to do that. Even to speed it up, it'll burn. All this to the side of your pan. Not only do you make a mess, you run a nice batch of fudge. Pick my wooden spoon up at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So if you don't have a wooden spoon, they got them there for a dollar. You get them anywhere, but for a dollar. My pans, I got it. two for a dollar, two dollars, the Dollar Tree. Okay, so there we are at our boil. I'm gonna add the candy thermometer. On the candy thermometer, you want to get 234 degrees. And continue stirring. I so said they say it takes four minutes. We're over 100 degrees now. Okay, we are there. So, I'm going to remove this from the heat. I'm going to add in my chocolate. chips they add in your chocolate I'm making a mess here but there all your chocolates melting mix it in with that sugar all right so we got that in there going good Now for the marshmallow fluff. I like to take this because it's kind of hard to get out of that container when you're in a hurry. So I put it in a bowl. We'll add that in. Stir that in. All right, we're getting that in there good. Now I'm gonna add the vanilla. One teaspoon of vanilla. We add the vanilla. Keep stirring. But you gotta get all that marshmallow mixed in. Okay, that's about done. So we'll add our cup of walnuts. And there's all your ingredients. There we go. And now the final step. We're going to add it to our pan. And 
and you want to spread it out. Cover your whole pan. If you want your fudge thicker, you can get a smaller pan like a 9x9 instead of the 9x13. Let that set and we'll come back when it's set and cooled off and see how it turns out. Should be delicious, should be nice and smooth. We'll see. But that's how you make fudge. I'll be back when this is done. Okay, and here we are. Here's my first batch. As you see, I've done four batches of fudge today. This is set here for about five hours now. So let's cut into it and see how it turned out. Should come right out of this pan here. All works out right. Pizza so over here. Let's see how it turned out. Looks really good. Very good. Nice and soft. Tastes delicious. So, like I said, I think I gave everybody directions on how to do this. Um, it's real easy to make. Just uh, use the ingredients. You gotta be really careful. Get a little bit too hot when boiling it, or too long, it'll get harder. Not enough to stay soft. So, power ahead. This is where you want it. Look. Thanks for watching again and make sure to give me a thumbs up and if you like everything subscribe to Living Like Larry and Merry Christmas.